Hey everyone, Isomorphic here. You get to hear boy voice today, um, I guess, but basically I've got um, my PS2 here. It's a uh, soft modded, uh, hold on. Yeah, so it's soft modded with um, free MC boot. And I've got this disc here that's mysteriously labeled Lego Star Wars 1 plus 2 version 1.0.2 and then just the date and yeah so we're gonna pop this disc in and i'm gonna talk a little bit about what's actually on it in a second so we're just gonna watch this boot up and this disc is um esr patched with uh the free dvd boot payload for um this like bios version and yeah we're gonna go ahead and wait for it to boot up it takes a little bit because <laughs> my ps2 has an old disk drive and it's quite bad at reading burned discs all right, so here we are. We've got Lego Star Wars 2, from the looks of it, loading up. Interesting so far. All right, so we're just waiting for the logos to do their thing. It is taking quite a bit longer than usual because of the read errors that the disc has. And y'all can't hear anything because I've got my headphones on. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and load the game here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and walk over. I'm so good at walking in this game. Definitely I'm not struggling to use one hand on the controller. All right, so we're gonna go into this door. Everything seems quite normal, but there is a twist surprise, so bear with me. And here we are. We have the negotiations level of all levels loaded up in Lego Star Wars 2. Watch. I can, um, well, first of all, I can use the force on these. And they'll do the animation. What a surprise. It's witchcraft. It's wizardry. And I can even choke Captain Antilles here. Just to confirm that, this is LEGO Star Wars 2, and I haven't done a switcheroo jump cut on y'all. We've got all these money monies, and let's break this door open. Whoops, part of it's still there. <laughs> And surprisingly, a lot of these things still work too. Watch this. So, now is the part where I explain what the actual heck is going on. Basically, I made a patcher for LEGO Star Wars 2 on the PS2 that is hardware compatible. And what this patcher does is it allows me to inject my own code into the game. 
So what I've done is actually patched, partially patched in compatibility or cross compatibility for the Lego Star Wars one um, dot four files for stands for force objects into the Lego Star Wars two game. And that includes basically any interactive object in the level, including these canisters and objects that you use the force on. And you will notice that all the coins are in the right spots too. It's because courtesy of Polly, um, we've actually been able to convert one to one the .cns files from Lego Star Wars 1 format to Lego Star Wars 2. And it pretty much is a lossless conversion. There's just a few issues as far as like event triggers go for mini kits. And also just allowing the game to know which mini kits actually were collected. Because if we go here and open this door, collect all those studs, because why not? And one second, I actually got to jump up here. All right. If we look up, we have a mini kit that we just collected. Cool, cool. And wah wah, we can't go to the next level because it's it's actually not in the dat archive file right now. So I've actually also used dat one archiver to add the negotiations level into the disc version of the game. So similar to what I did for Lego Star Wars One Unfair Mode, except on Lego Star Wars Two. And funny enough. Any character can open these in the current state that the level is in, which I found interesting. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was enjoyable, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.